Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in uh, to this Sunday evening stream. There's a plenty of things you could be doing besides watching my stream, so I appreciate y'all joining me. Uh, so we're probably going to be streaming here for, I'd say, a good four hours or so. So with that being said, make sure you uh, grab yourself a snack, a beverage, or an adult beverage, if you're of age, of course. And uh, I'm thinking we're going to play through some of some Cold Steel 3. Now, this is going to be spoiler-free. I mean, we're not going to show any story, any context. It'll be totally story-free. And I won't be playing it very long. So one of the awesome improvements that um, Falcon made with uh, Cold Steel 3 is the battle system menus. So instead of having that big circle that goes around uh, for crafts, you know, arts, attack, you know, all the all the functions, you've got them all here at one button press. And it's really similar to Persona 5. So it, it's a nice improvement. You also have these, uh, these orders called Brave Orders that you press by using the top button of the D-pad. And these right here give you various buffs to your characters. Um, such as, you know, this one here is HP and EP plus 10%. Uh, Muse's here is uh, Arch Strength Increase. And then here you got uh, Ashes is Strength and Speed Up. And this uses up, like, say, three Brave Points. See the Brave Points at the top right? So I'm going to go ahead and use this one to get more Strength. That works just like that. So now they're doing, they have increased strength and speed as well. So as you can see, it's, this combat is, it has a lot of similarities to Trails of Cold Steel 2 and 1. Um, but it's just been, in my opinion, really greatly improved upon. So you still have the link attacks. And when you do a normal link attack, um, you gain one BP, and you can use those BPs for Brave Orders, or to unleash uh, powerful uh, Link Attacks. So that's a new function actually in, in Trails of Cold Steel 3 as well. See how these guys are kind of like, they're down with the red and pink lightning coming off of them? That means that, they, that the uh, enemies have been broken, or they're breaked. So when you hit them, you're guaranteed to crit them, and they're not able to act on the next turn. So it's the best opportunity to get get more brave points, and it's gonna it's it's just a really good it's another way to really just turn the tides of battle is to break an enemy. And Yuna's really good at doing it too. She's kind of a specialist at it. And I'm gonna do a super link attack here. Hey, so they pretty much got melted because they had they had that. Uh -oh. So the OST in this game, of course, is absolutely amazing. You know, they, they, they stepped up everything in Cold Steel 3 um, compared to... Hey, it, uh, it's Phantom RWBY. Thank you very much for following. So they stepped it up. Uh, the music, they stepped up the combat, they stepped up, in my opinion, the story. Everything was improved in this game. You can change your characters out like this. You press the D-pad on the right to change your characters. So, Altina is really good for her arts in Cold Steel 3. So we're going to use... This one right here. Although we might have it dead before she actually casts it. <laughs> so what I just did was I used his craft that, that charges him up. It's very similar to Laura's craft that lets her gives her a bunch of strength. It's the same thing. Now I'm using Yuna's buff, Yuna's Brave Order, 
Uh, Unit's Brave Order grants everybody a higher, a much higher chance to break enemies. And for bosses, I really have to use break because it'll, it keeps me from getting my my ass whooped, frankly. <laughs> and also, we can crit them and get tons of break points. Alright, so... So, uh, Phantom, this is the Japanese style. Actually, in Japan, they have the attack button be circle and the confirm button be circle. And on the demos that we saw uh, from Nisa for the English version, they have switched it to how us in the West use it. X will be attack and confirm, and circle will be the move. So you'll be able. It'll it'll be very familiar to you. Doing the same thing for uh, Ash here. Use his power up. He also gets CP recovery from his. So something else that's really cool about Yuna. Turn her into gunner mode. She's the only one that can do this. And now she can fight as a ranged attack character. And you see now we got her to break really fast like that. It's because we have Yuna's Brave Order active, we were able to make her break real fast. Now we're just going to start pretty much tearing her up. I'm going to go ahead and S-Craft here in just a second. Man, what we're talking here. Kurt with the buff, S-Craft, and she's broken. It's going to hurt her real bad. What I need to do with her? Needs a support arc with her. Yeah. Need some regen. Hey, lady. <laughs> Nice, yes, lady. I got the same thing. Got to get that box, that pre-order box, the the Thor's Academy edition. That's the way to go. Does bonuses carry over from New Game Plus and Cold Steel two to three? Uh, Phantom, it does not. So in Cold Steel 2, there's no data save transfer from 2 to 3. Uh, there, there never was, and, the, and therefore there won't be. Uh, however, I know that's not, that might sound a little bit, like, not good, but it's okay. It'll turn out to be fine. Um, so you don't have to worry about that at all, and you won't be transferring your data from 2 to 3. However, there is save data from 3 to 4. So once you beat 3, you'll get your save clear data, and you'll definitely need that. And it makes a big, it's a big deal too. Uh, your save data from three, you need to make sure you have that for Cold Steel 4. And it's almost a sure thing that's going to come to the States. Right. To the West, I should say. Uh, I, I, if I guess, I, my money's on next year. So there's something else that's pretty neat with the, um, with the game. It's a con, it's a pro, there's a, there's a double-edged sword, okay? So... Um, remember how on Cold Steel 1 and 2 you could kind of just, like, slash people, slash at, um, enemies, and then until you get behind them, and then you can hit them from behind and get a triple advantage? In this game, instead, you have these charge attacks. See on the bottom right corner, where it says charge, and there are two purple bars next to where it says charge. And what you do is you do this charge attack by pressing R2, and it does this, and it automatically gives you a triple advantage, but it consumes part of that charge bar. After this battle here, I'll show you guys how to re uh, how to replenish that charge bar. You do that by destroying objects in, in on the field. You, remember that you see that crate over there? That's behind behind the, behind the uh, or to the left of the mobs. That's actually from that's actually live. 
So if you see treasure chests, you'll see treasure chests that are opened or closed based on if you've opened them or closed them already in the battle scene. So it's a little bit more realistic. Uh, it's not just some random map that you're taken to when you go into a, uh, uh, a battle with characters in Cold Steel 3 or 4. Part of the cast, yet. So you see how this crate right here was well, still here, and we can break it. Oops. See, look, you see how the, those dots went to the charge meter and replenished the charge meter? So you want to break all the stuff, break all the things to replenish your charge gauge. And it's about to pop up. <laughs> There's your OG Class 7 right there. I had to be quiet during that just so you guys could appreciate that OST. It's an amazing piece of art. <laughs> so that's the end of the prologue, y'all. Pretty quick, huh? <laughs> Although I did fast forward through a lot of story scenes. <laughs> so... What I'm gonna do is skip a couple things. I'm wait. So guys, I am waiting for super. Oh, hey, perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Super. I was just saying I was waiting for you before I started took his hand, dude. <laughs> well, th there's you guys' dose of Trails of Cold Steel three. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> um, y'all get pumped. Because it's, it's going to be a lot of fun when it comes out here. And it's only going to be here in just another... It's pretty much two months. Two months and ten days, I think. Oh, that, that's It's going to be here before you know it, y'all. And you're going to hear this awesome OST. You're going to see these awesome characters. You guys are going get, to uh, get attached to new Class 7. So, when I first started playing... When I first saw the new characters on the, you know, the box art for Cold Steel 3 or... Sen no Kiseki 3. Um, I was like, man, Falcom's going to add, they're adding more characters to an already pretty crowded, already pretty crowded roster, right? A pretty crowded cast. So I was really skeptical about, man, they're gonna, how are they going to develop these guys and also, excuse me, further develop old Class 7, you know, OG Class 7. And I'm very pleased to tell you that they definitely exceeded my expectations. Uh, I, I was incorrect to to doubt them on that they did a they did a pretty darn good job um 
But I mean, that also is because there's so they put so much story in this game, y'all. Uh, Sendo Kiseki Three is the longest Trails game ever. Uh, it, it has so much dialogue in it, but it's good stuff. Every bit of it is awesome. Um, you're gonna you're gonna love every bit of this game, y'all. You're gonna like talking to the NPCs. You're gonna like doing those side quests to get to know those NPCs. The NPCs, even the NPCs, develop. Remember Lind and Vivi, um, freaking Patrick. Uh, all, all the other, you know, the old people that were in, uh, in class one, um, from, uh, that were, went to Thor's with Reen, uh, like they, they, they all ha come back. They all get more development. It's really cool guys. You're going to love it. And, and you're going to, you're going to bond with new class seven. I'm happy to say as well, you're going to love these new characters. Um, they develop a lot too, uh, throughout, uh, Trails of Cold Steel three and Cold Steel four. So look forward to that. All right, so I'm going to transition now to Tokyo Xanadu. Thank you very much, guys, if you're watching my Cold Steel 3. Um, if you're here just for Cold Steel 3, I appreciate you all watching that and watching my stream. Uh, if you're interested in another awesome Falcom game, uh, it's not in the Trails series, but it's still a really good game, y'all. I recommend Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus, and it's currently available on Steam, uh, on the PlayStation Store. Um, I'm not sure if it's for any, out for any other console yet, but I know it's on. you can get it on PS4 and on Steam on PC. And I'm about to continue my playthrough of that game. So it is a little more, it's, a, it's an action game, action RPG, and I'm more of a turn-based game uh, player myself. Uh, however, I, I felt myself really, I got comfortable with Tokyo Xanadu pretty quickly on a lower difficulty, of course, and I'm really enjoying it. And while the story isn't as, you know, like it is incredible as Trails, it's still a really good story. I'm really enjoying it. So those y'all who have only seen Trails for Falcom, y'all, I recommend giving Tokyo Xanadu a try as well. S craft time. Got her. Are you serious? going to join the XRC.
バーニーそうですね。綺麗でしょう。全部わかる。使い方も。わお。Wow. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I did not think she was going to be playable, y'all. Okay, th this changes the game. Oh, wow. That was an epic OST, y'all. 